Welcome everyone to the CCL Halftime Show. I'm Kyle Ferguson, and today I am joined by Diamond Hands range player Got Filth. Welcome to you, Diamond Hands, Got Filth. Howdy! Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, you are a little bit of a mystery to me, so I'm excited to talk to you about where you came from, how you got involved in Heroes, and uh, well, 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 I do have an odd question. Let's just go ahead and get out of the way. Uh, in the last series, you changed Tychus skins between game one and two. Was that on purpose? Uh, yeah, it was probably on purpose. I have trouble making up my mind what Tychus skin I want to use. It's like, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Like, I don't like using the Zerg one, and I don't like using the bikini one usually, because they're, oh, no. like, over the top, you know? Okay. I like using the subtle skins. So, usually hop between, like, the old Master skin for him and, like, the uh, Prisoner one. Those are the two best, I think. Sounds good. Sounds. Do you have a, a skin system on most of your heroes? Uh, I usually just try to avoid the like super flashy like big skins. I don't think they usually look good. I like the cleaner, like more subtle ones. I like to play it a little covert then. Yep. <laughs> so how did you end up getting into heroes in the first place? Uh, I started playing a little bit after the game came out. I think in like 2015 or something. Uh. I was in middle school at the time, and one of my friends talked to me in the playing the game. Originally, I thought the game looked really dumb. I'd never played a MOBA before, but I uh, played World of Warcraft, so I decided to give it a shot, and I started playing like Thrall and like other WoW characters I knew in, from the game, and eventually I just got hooked. I really liked it. I got better and better at the game, and then now here I am. That's awesome. I mean, so many people come from League of Legends, Dota, Heroes of New Earth. And this is just pure Heroes of the Storm love for you, then. Yep, never played any of the other games, really. That's great. Well, it, it, you have a, a pure view on things, then. You're, you're not corrupted by these other ideas of, like, gold and XP <laughs> being individual. Yep, I don't even know what last hitting is. Never heard of it. <laughs> this rumor you've heard about. So, <laughs> so why the name Got Filth? Uh, I actually stole the name from my brother. He like uh, oh, no. named a WoW character Got Filth like when I was way younger, and I think he stole it from like a really crap rap song or something. <laughs> but uh, eventually, I decided to name my WoW character Got Filth back in like Warlords of Draenor or something, and it just kind of kept the name ever since. Nice, nice. Well, props to your brother for having such an awesome name and now continuing the <laughs> legacy. Uh, yep. So you did uh, the NAGM Captain's Draft, uh, which. I guess then you were a GM. Uh, yeah, so I that was like my first like real tournament that I played in that actually had like a decent cash prize. It was like my first time playing against like old HGC players as well. So it was like a super good experience and I ended up winning it. So it was uh, definitely a lot of fun to play in. Uh, I've been GM for a long time though. So I've, uh, even though I haven't like been playing competitive, I've been like at, like a pretty high level in solo queue for a long time. Well, and that was in 2020, so all this happened pretty fast then and pretty recently. Uh, yeah, so I uh, played in, like, NGS before that a little bit and, like, Heroic Div and stuff, but it was, it was, like, more casual, like, for fun games. And then after that, I, like, started trying hard to get drafted for the first season of CCL, and I ended up getting drafted by SSK. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And you have a very, very wide hero pool, but you just said you're a grandmaster, so is it that wide when you play on the ladder? Uh, yeah, I play pretty much everything on the ladder. Okay. I just like play whatever looks fun every game, pretty much. Unless I'm tryharding. If I'm tryharding, I pick Cassia or Greymane every game, but <laughs> it's not as fun. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, a lot of uh, Greymane last season in particular. Why do you think he sort of fell out of favor this season? Um, I think he's really good. I think, uh, I mean, for me personally, like, falling out of favor in terms of, like, how I play him, or... Uh, just uh, pick rate in general. I think you've had one gray main game this season. Uh, yeah, I think... I'm not sure why we haven't been picking it as much, but I definitely think now that Stukov's, like, a disabled hero, his stocks are going to go up a lot. Stukov was a big counter oh, to gray main before. But, that makes sense. Yeah, I think gray main was kind of underrated for a while. He's, like, super good. He does... He's like really bad at team fighting until 13. He really needs 13 to like become a hero, but he's really good at running down buildings. He's like a pretty survivable DPS. He trades really well in the other DPS, so just very like flexible and safe. Okay, so to avoid anybody thinking they're right and everyone else is wrong, what's the level 13 talent? 
Uh, the move speed. <laughs> I, I don't play anything with the move speed. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. And you do, uh, like, you, you show off a lot of different heroes. Uh, one that certainly comes to mind from your recent games was your series against Storm Esports, particularly the Towers of Doom reverse sweep you all had there on the, at least on the Bell Towers, and that Chromie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I, uh, I play, uh, I like playing a lot of different heroes. I'm, like, originally a flex player, so I kind of play whatever. Uh, that game was pretty wild. I think, I mean... Stitches like kind of 1v9 I think that game and double loop came in at the end to kind of secure it but as a <laughs> that was a wild game I don't think we should have won that one but we did that was a very cool double loop too particularly on the Vala in the bottom there as she was saved from the first loop and then tragically returned back to her spot a second time <laughs> yeah it's always really sad to play against because like you get away from the first one and then you're just going back <laughs> that's really cool so so you got you got the uh you got the Cassie, of course. Lots and lots of Cassie recently, but also a lot of that Tychus, Chromie. Uh, you also played a little bit of Genji there as a surprise recently. Ah, uh, yeah, Genji's my most played hero, at least in, oh, like, really? solo queue and stuff. It's my favorite hero in the game, for sure. He's super fun. Uh, he's kind of, like, a little bad right now. It's not, like, super meta. He's, like, very situational, but in the situations he's good, he's, like, still really good if you can play him well. I think it's sane for all of us that Genji is a little lower damage than he once was. But I, I appreciate it anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. so how how do you end up on these heroes? Are you kind of hovering as the draft gets going, or do you have a particular draft leader who is telling you what to do? Uh, our team recently we started just doing like draft prep and like planning out our drafts pretty hard. But once like the drafts get going in the thick of things, like kind of like communal drafting a bit, but. I think like the Genji, usually when we're picking Genji, it's because I say the fake Genji because I want to play him or something, but uh, usually like everybody puts input in on the draft. Nice. And same with the comms, do you guys kind of divide things up or is there one designated big shot caller for you? Uh, Benny is like definitely the shot caller and I'm like kind of the secondary shot caller. Kind of depends on the game. Like some games I talk a lot and call a lot and some games I don't. It's kind of depends on like what hero I'm playing and like how focused I am on like mechanics, but Going back to last weekend, you all had your game versus Chili Mountain. Really interesting series, but it ended up being a 0-3 for y'all. What kind of happened there on your side? Uh, yeah, I don't even I don't even know what happened, actually. Those games are just really bad. Okay. <laughs> I've got to write it down a little bit. Uh, those are, like, probably three of the worst games, like, we've ever played together as a team. Uh, they, uh, I'm not sure what happened. Like, I mean, it's kind of, like, inted early every game, and then just kind of lost, and then... I think by the last game, like, Arena was kind of tilted, so it's a lot harder to come back. I know me personally, like, I wasn't, like, I wasn't feeling it that day. Like, I wasn't in, like, a hot mood. I didn't want to play the game that much, but so, so definitely didn't help. But hopefully next week we'll uh, do a little bit better. Oh, but that's great to hear because that way means you guys didn't walk away haunted by it, you know, constantly thinking and critiquing it. You guys just sort of admitted that it wasn't the best and... And now you're coming up against Auction Esports, which looks like it's going to be a really interesting game for you guys. They have their own system of drafting, much like Wild Heart does. Uh, any plans you can share in that game coming up next? Uh, I mean, we're kind of, we're like prepping our drafts a little bit for them. Like we kind of know like what they like to play and like what heroes they like to look for. Uh, can't leak anything in particular, but I mean, <laughs> uh, we definitely have to like be a little careful with them and like be very flexible in draft because they like doing quirky weird things and speaking of quirky weird things anything interests you about the recent patch that dropped yesterday well now four days ago for this interview uh other than the bugs um sure i mean i think uh i think the stukov changes are interesting even though he's like really bugged i'm like interested to see like how the new level one if it like ends up being a buff or a nerf i think usually people i'm hearing are saying like the reactive change was a nerf but it's definitely interesting other than that uh i think blaze probably got like a big buff like you got a free level seven talent basically just baked into his kit which is like definitely a big buff uh other than that i'm not sure what else uh like i don't think it was like a super impactful chat or patch i don't think it's uh changed the meta all that much i mean other than of course what i'll be cheering for for you which is gray main because stukov's disabled for the weekend and therefore, <laughs> yeah. all the gray main you want. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine he's going to get picked a lot more this weekend. 
Awesome. I mean, this is coming up to the end of the group phase. If you guys can win this, you have a little bit of a better stance going in. Uh, any plans looking forward for you guys as you enter that gauntlet? Uh, no, not really. I think we're just kind of focusing completely on beating Oxygen. We'll think about the gauntlet later on, especially like when we know like what we're going to be playing and like what place we're going to be in. Sounds like a good place to put your minds right now. Any shout outs you'd like to do here at the end? Uh, I'd like to shout out the org. Uh, Chris, who's like the man in charge, uh, key for like scheduling everything for us. Uh, Elizul is like our analyst and coach. He helps do a lot of the draft prep and then obviously the team. Awesome. Awesome. Well, good luck to you guys. Good luck on Greymane. And thank you all for watching Elm. Uh, stick around for the awesome games and we'll see you soon.